Hey peeps, we are back. We are talking the Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 14, episode 17, which is the season finale. Hey, before we get into the video, please do me the honors of subscribing to my channel, hitting the notification bell so you can always be notified when I post new content, hitting the thumbs up because that does wonders for my channel, and share. Thanks. Before we get into the show, did anybody notice the new looks for the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City? I think this new cast photo is going to be beautiful. The ladies all look absolutely gorgeous, including the three friends of. Um, I did see the preview, you know, the trailer for the upcoming season of the Real Housewives of Salt Lake uh, City and it didn't look that great. I mean, at the very end of the trailer, they had a few pop-off moments, but it wasn't like the trailer for Beverly Hills or the trailer for Atlanta. So I don't know, it might just be a whole bunch of hype that turns out to be nothing. But either way, I will be there, I will be watching, I will be reviewing. So make sure that you join me for The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. If you are not already a subscriber, Please make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Thank you so much. Also, speaking of cast photos, someone leaked in quotations, the Real Housewives of Potomac's new cast photo. And again, it looks like we have the same exact cast, no new uh, ladies in the um, cast, but they all look stunning. Red is definitely their color. I think they look gorgeous. So I'm excited about this upcoming season. Okay, so at the end of the show, we do see the countdown to being able to purchase items on She by Sheree's website. Now I'm going to go ahead and say this at the top of the review. I have been out on that website multiple times in the last 48 hours and that site is not up and running. And the weird thing about it is, instead of it having the normal error that the site has crashed, there is a beautiful message telling people to please come back within 24 hours, which I have, um, and that the site crashed due to so much traffic. I think the site is down, in my opinion, because there is no merchandise. Um, good luck, Sheree. I hope you get your site up and running right away. So the show starts off with cuteness overload. We see Blaze in the back seat. She is humming a tune and clapping her hands and her mommy is in the front cheering her right on. She's humming the same tune and clapping her hands too. I thought that was so cute. Blaze is a carbon copy of candy. They look identical to me. Blaze is adorable. Later in the episode, we get to see Brooklyn and she is so adorable. She was helping her mommy pick out a dress for the fashion show and she decided that she needs a new dress as well. And I think that is adorable. I love seeing Kenya with Brooklyn. So we start off with the best news. Kenya's products have come in. Remember earlier in the season, she had all these major deals on the table. However, she wasn't able to fulfill her deals because all of the bottles and other products that she needed were stuck overseas. She got her team on it. She invested more money into getting these products and everything was delivered in time for her to complete all of her deals, including a major deal with CVS. I think that is amazing. I'd love to see it. Oh, this is, I'm <laughs> very yeah. excited for you, Kenya. Girl, I don't even have my products in CVS, so kudos to you. I'm proud of her. Thank you so much. Oh, this is such an emotional day. <laughs> Thank you. I want us to support each other. This ain't no Dollar General. This is the CVS. This is a big deal. Good job, Kenya. Oh, But she did tell me she got five pieces in. Okay. Right. Okay. If it's just for like a party. I hope it's not a party because uh, she doesn't pay for parties. <laughs> this was a beautiful sight to see. I love to see women supporting women. I really do. I am very happy and very proud of Kenya. Then we get the opportunity to see Marlo. She goes over to Sanya's house and Sanya and Ross plan an evening for Marlo and the boys. Sanya gets outfits made for the boys 
to work on cars like mechanics outfits ralph has the boys outside teaching them how to change tires check the oil and it was beautiful ross says that when he was growing up he didn't learn anything about changing tires going fishing checking the oil or even how to wear a tie until his stepfather came along so it's very important to him to be a role model for young men and i practically cried. I thought that was so beautiful. And I am team Sanya and Ross in this aspect. We also find out that Sanya has decided to remove her IUD and go on this journey of becoming pregnant with their second child. And she's hoping for a girl. She said what made her change her mind was her husband coming to her and saying that he didn't want to push her into having another child. He wants one, but only if she's okay with it. He wants them to do this together. And that I can say, all right now, Ross, way to change your tune. And that is a beautiful picture, if you ask me. We also see that Marlo's mom is in town. And, you know, I'm happy to see Marlo spending time with her mom. I think it was very interesting to see her and her mom's dynamic. Oh, okay, and uh, where's your tea? <laughs> uh, I, they were not quite ready. Are you finished with drugs? Are you still drinking? Do you need therapy? You know the worst thing you ever did to hurt me mm -hmm. was what? You had us all put out the house out there and left on you. You said the worst thing I did was kicking you out the house yeah. I bought for you. And I love you. I love you too. And I love you too. You got me. You've been staying away. Stop staying away. Just now coming back around me for three days, and you saying, can you bring a man around? A man who's on drugs, a man who can't, don't got to pop the piss in. You always worried about a man. I think that's why I don't have a man. You know what? Marlo, you are right down there in Atlanta with Dr. Heavenly. Take your mom right over to Smiles by Heavenly Kinds, and she will hook your mama up. I'm just saying. I would also like to say that I really truly believe that Marlo should gather up her immediate family, all of them for group family counseling and for separate counseling. This whole family is suffering. I looked at Marlo and her situation with her mom and I instantly remembered all the nasty things Marlo said about Kenya's mom. Her and Kenya have more in common than they don't, especially when it comes to the mom situation. I think that Marlo should give Kenya a break and I also think that Kenya would be open to giving Marlo support after seeing her and her mom's whole situation. Um, this is generational trauma and they need to get some help. I thought when we seen Marlo's mom was short of teeth that she could get some help from Dorit's foundation, but she's not homeless, just toothless, you know. So Dr. Heavenly is definitely the better option. Another thing that I thought too is the scenes with Marlo's mom they reminded me of some of the scenes on Potomac with Mia and her mom. Um, I think that with her mom's past history of alcohol and drug abuse, that she just needs a little more understanding. Um, you know, Marlo made the comment that she didn't know if her mom was still using or not. Um, maybe even offering her some time in rehab. You know, they had that big blow up about Marlo's mom putting men before her, and that is major. I know a lot of children who have grown up to be adults who are suffering with the thought that at some point in their life, their parent put a man or a woman before the children. And that is something that I can never get with. She wanted her mom to pick her first. I also thought it was interesting that she invited Candy after all of the mess they have been through to meet her mom. But I have a feeling that she wanted Candy to meet her mom in the hopes that Candy would understand her background and where she came from. Um, I thought it was nice seeing Marlo's mom. I love that they told each other multiple times that they were sorry and how much they loved each other. I am praying for her and her mom and I'm wishing them the best. Now to the very end, Sheree was struggling to get all of her pieces. You know, right before the show started, she finally got all of her pieces, a total of 27. When she first went to see the event space, she started off with five pieces. And I'm with Kenya. Five pieces does not make a collection. I am sorry, not even on Project Runway. On Project Runway, they at least want you to have six to 10 pieces. 
I'm just saying, and that's because they have other collections coming out as well, and they also have six to ten pieces, not just one designer. Now, Mama Joyce. I think with Riley being the child that was there before anybody, I think that's the child that you should put in the forefront. What about Aza Blake? I'm saying <laughs> they have a father who will be in charge of the trust. Don Juan. I think Don Juan plus somebody else. Don Juan and me. <laughs> you killing me off early, I see. I am on the fence with Mama Joyce. Uh, I think that she is taking this dislike for Todd a little too far. Let it go, ma'am. They have been together for a very long time now. They have two children and multiple businesses. If anybody is after Candy's money at this point, I think it might be Mama Joyce. Um, I think that her saying that Candy should have one trust only on Riley because Ace and Blaze have a father, I think that's too much. I think that's just too much. You know what I mean? I would have everything actually in one big trust and it would all be labeled out equally. I would split everything equally with my three kids. I am not about to put Ace and Blaze on the side because they have a father. I think all three children should be treated fairly and equally because that's what happens a lot of times when people pass away and then kids feel that the estate wasn't separated properly. Oh, you got more than me or she got more than I do. And then it becomes a big old disaster. Her mama asking to be put on as an executor next to Don Juan. Why, why do you think that you should be on here? You know, maybe it should be Don Juan and a couple of attorneys but I don't think that Mama Joyce needs to be on here. And I also think that Todd's daughter should be included. And I think that Candy would want her to be included. With all the money that Candy and Todd have separately and together, there's definitely enough to go around for all four of these children. This is just my opinion, we all have opinions. So you guys get down in the comments and tell me what I got wrong. Do you feel differently? Do you think that Mama Joyce was right? Get down in the comments and let me know. This is a wonderful person that was given a fashion show with no fashions. How dreadful. Tyrone. No remorse, no apology, no nothing. Apology, and you let Mama, me sit I there? apologize. I was humiliated. Definitely don't owe you an apology. It's his way of apologizing by bringing some roses. I mean, it looked like he got it from the grocery store. You heard about Tyrone? Prison Bay. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. They're so proud of you. Thank the you. Crowd. Anybody needs to be here. Oh, okay. It is the white here. Yeah. Yeah. show with no yeah. fashion. Please have a way for us to purchase because I do see some things that I will be right. out those joggers real nice. I want to give him a round of applause and my number. Okay. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Yeah. Honey, listen. Tyrone crip walking into the event space and not wanting to offer an apology. Um, get the hell out of here, Tyrone. She doesn't owe you an apology. You are a clout chasing broke bitch, in my opinion. You have no business being here. I agree with Marlo and Kenya. Marlo said when she got with you, you had a little money. Now you don't have any money, so bye, Tyrone. Kenya said, your time is up just like your sentence. You are free from jail. Now you need to be free from Sheree. Goodbye, Tyrone. Get the hell out of here. And did anybody notice that her daughter had no idea who Tyrone was? She had never seen him. And then when Apollo steps to him to say, you should never just leave your queen stranded like that, he's going to tell Apollo he on the wrong team. He on the wrong side. And I also have to mention, when production asked Apollo about Tyrone Lyon, saying that he couldn't show up because he's not allowed to be on camera due to his parole, under 
Apollo's name, it said, not a legal scholar. <laughs> Bravo's editors are shady as hell. According to Apollo, who is not a legal scholar, that is a lie. He can be on camera. Who's who of Atlanta showed up for this fashion show? And I'm going to say it. Sanya's dress for the fashion show was 100 times better than that dress she showed up to the reunion in. Tyrone tipped into the fashion show after being thrown out the day before, looking like a Dalmatian, bringing in flowers from Publix. The producers strike again with the sales tags for the flowers, and then she introduces this dude to her mama as Prison Bay. I said, Lord Jesus, this is a mess. But you know what? Didn't Dwight look good? Dwight looked great. However, he was quite pissed, quite pissed that that show started two hours late and so was I. I wasn't even there and I was mad as hell. And you see, she was just sitting around on the phone talking to Shekana about she's going to wait for her to get there but try to be on time. You were going to hold up a show and be late for Shekana. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Honey, listen, the fashions were beautiful. The show turned out beautiful. I was absolutely proud of Sheree. It was really good to see all the girls cheering her on, being supportive, being there. Even though Drew had a few comments about the cost of things and the money, she's still bitter about not receiving her money for the party. Now, what I really loved is at the very end, when Tyrone is going to step up to Sheree in all of her glory and excitement, talking about, can I talk to you for a second? She said, nope, mm -mm. I said, all right now, bye Tyrone. Bye honey, call somebody. We don't want to be bothered. Now, another thing that happened, because you know the internet is savage, okay? People went out online for the moment that Sheree's website worked you know, I think it worked possibly a few minutes before this alleged crash and realized that some of her fashions are actually featured on other websites um, like Sheen, Amazon, Wish, you know, Alibaba. And she's just added her logo to it, allegedly. Um, listen, she told Andy all that time ago that she would have joggers out by September. And here it is September. It may be September of a different year, but it's September. And some of these may have taken a long time to get to her because they had to be, you know, mailed from overseas and then her logo etched into them, allegedly. That takes time, but ma'am, this does not look good. Why would anybody pay $140 for the same outfit that they can get on Shane for 25? And I still don't think that the site is truly down really because there would be that error 404 uh, message, not a very nice message with emojis on it. I don't know you guys. Anyway, I'm really excited for Sheree. I hope that she's able to get her website up and running, and I hope that she is able to maybe explain why it seems that these are other people's designs that she has just put her logo on. I don't know. I think it's allowed. I don't know legally. I am, I am not a legal scholar. I do not know. Anyway, you guys, get down in the comments and let me know what you think, and until next time, bye.